For so long, that's your goal is to play college softball. Dream come true for some. College is no longer the ceiling for softball players here in Oklahoma. That's right. The OKC Spark is giving them a chance to keep playing. News 9's Tevis Hillis shows us what it means ahead of the team's inaugural season. UCO's softball stadium, it's sold out ahead of the state's first ever women's fast pitch game. The OKC Spark take on the Vipers. I wouldn't have picked any other five years to be there. Chelsea Alexander is no stranger to making big plays on the diamond. The former OSU Cowgirl helped lead the Pokes to three straight women's college World Series appearances, leading the team in stolen bases her senior year, scoring 43 runs and setting a career high in batting average. I'm old enough to know, like, I'm building that dream of being a professional softball player for that next generation. The end of her days in a bright orange uniform should have meant the end of playing the sport she loved her whole life. But a new league is giving her the chance to continue her career. This time for our sport is really special because you're starting to see that momentum shift into like, okay, well, what? why can't I go play? Why can't I go be a professional softball player? A familiar foe in college turned teammate. And really, she needs no introduction. Also in the lineup, former Oklahoma catcher Lindsey Elam, sophomore alum Sydney Sherrill, and Kaylani Ricketts. That she shouldn't have to stop just because she had a child. A new mother that has been drawing softball fans' attention since her start at OU in 2010. There's no shortage of pros on the team for women who once thought their softball days were behind them. I've been watching college softball this whole time, and I've just been bored at home. Like, I want to play. Right now, there are four professional WFP teams across the country. Each can hold up to 22 players on their roster. Tina Floyd and her husband created this team. She's a former teacher, passionate about giving kids that next opportunity. I'm so um, adamant about helping move this sport forward. And she hopes in the next five years, the landscape changes, allowing more girls to continue this dream. The first six games will be played here on UCO's campus. Then they'll move over to the USA Hall of Fame Stadium for the rest of the season. In Edmond, Tevis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.